Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes and this is a Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat, which means it is time for our weekly child seat review and today we have a 2014 Volkswagen Passat. This particular model is the 1.8 liter TSI model. If you want to know more about this, this review should be up in about a day or so, so be sure and check back with this channel on that review. If you want to know more about the turbo diesel version of this same Passat, you can check out one of our older videos on the Passat. Just go ahead and click this button right over there on that side of your screen and be taken over to that video and then we'll wait for you back here. The Passat has a decent amount of rear seat legroom, which translates into a great deal of room for rearward facing child seats. This child seat is oriented so that the ball is in the green zone, which is the way that they should be oriented. So it's not all the way back in the seat. It is in that green zone, which is essential. And it is touching this front seat back. And that's because this front seat back is all the way back in its tracks. That really means that you can put a fairly large passenger in this car and still have a child seat behind that person. If I move it over to the driver's side here, where this front seat was adjusted for me, and we again align the ball into the green zone, which is where it is right now, you can see that I do have about two inches of clearance between this rearward facing child seat and the front seat, which is ideal. The Passat provides latch anchors for both outboard seating positions and they are hidden right here behind the fabric. Very easy to get to, very easy to latch a child seat anchor on there as well as remove it. Even though they are relatively close to the surface, you really can't feel them while you're sitting in the back seat. These Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seats have a rather long top tether anchor and that's the distance between this portion of the buckle and this portion right here. That means that in tighter situations like the Passat where, as you can see, this top tether anchor is relatively close to the seat back, makes it relatively easy to latch them into place, but relatively difficult to get a very tight fit on it. If I pull this as tight as possible, you can see the seat is kind of in the way and the seat is still quite loose. So even if I pull on this much tighter, it really won't get any tighter. That is a consideration when you're taking a look at a vehicle like this, make sure that you get a seat that fits your vehicle appropriately. Obviously this Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat might not be the best fit for the Passat. With a great deal of additional fiddling, I was able to get this a little bit tighter, but as you can see, it still has a decent amount of motion. And according to Grocco and most child seat manufacturers, if you tug on the child seat tightly, there should only be about a half inch of movement. It's at this point that I should say that the North American Passat and the European Passat are two completely different vehicles. The North American Passat is several inches longer and decently wider than the European Passat. That really plays a role when it comes to installing child seats. The last generation of Passat in the United States didn't really do so well, especially in rearward facing child seats. But this version of the Passat is nearly four inches longer than that Passat. So we do have a decent amount more rear leg room, which translates into a decent amount more rear facing child seat room. The North American version is also wider than the European version, both on the inside and on the outside. So we have two child seats installed in the car right now. I do have about three or four inches of room between this child seat and that door over there. And I can still fit right here next to this child seat and buckle myself in. This also means it's relatively easy to install three child seats across the back in the Passat. In order to install the center child seat, you really ought to remove this center headrest. That is a little bit tricky in the Passat because you can't do that with just the little button on the side of the headrest alone. You need to insert something like a screwdriver into a little hole on the other side of that headrest in order to completely remove it. This car is a good example of the reminder that you should always follow both the instruction manual for the car as well as the instruction manual for the child seat. Because while the vehicle manual doesn't specifically say anything about removing the center headrest, Grocco tells you in their instruction manual that the top tether anchor should not go over the top of a headrest. It should go under the headrest or the headrest should be removed. And in the Passat, the headrest doesn't really come off terribly easily. You do have to have a screwdriver with you in order to completely remove that headrest. You have to insert it in a hole on one side while you press the tab on the other side. It does make it a little bit more difficult to remove the headrest and then reinsert it later if you need to remove the child seat so that way someone else can sit here. This brings us to the three across child seat test. As you can see, these three child seats are not completely strapped down. This is just representative of what this would look like if you had three in the car. Over here on the driver's side of the vehicle, you can see I still have about two to three inches of room between this child seat and the door. And this is critical because the Passat, like most vehicles today, is equipped with side curtain airbags. And those do descend from the ceiling right down there. So you do want a little bit of room between the child seat and the door just for added safety. At over 15 cubic feet, the Passat's trunk is very spacious. Right here, I have a large 24 inch roller bag. This is the one you can carry on to a flight. That easily fits in there. And here I have a 26 inch roller bag. This does not carry on to a domestic flight. I have that in there as well. And I was able to put a combination of about eight or so bags of that nature into the trunk if you arrange them just so. And let's see how well three child seats fit in here. They do fit relatively easily into that opening. It is a relatively large opening. 
There we go. All three child seats are now in the car and we still have room for this 26 inch roller bag right there. And uh, there is almost room for this 24 inch roller bag next to it. We might be able to do this by stacking. And let's see if the lid will close and it will. So there we go. We can fit a 24 inch roller bag, a 26 inch roller bag, and three child seats in the trunk of the Passat. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the 2014 Volkswagen Passat 1.8 TSI. If you wanna know more about the 1.8 TSI version of the Passat, then you'll find a link at the end of this video that'll take you on over there in about a day or two after this video is released. There'll also be a link to the Volkswagen Passat TDI, and that was last year's model that we recently reviewed. You'll go ahead and find that at the end of the video as well. Go ahead and click that link at the bottom of your screen to subscribe to this channel. You can find me at facebook.com slash alexandautos, and you can always send all of your questions and comments to alex at alexandautos.com. I'll see you next week.